Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial on the Beep Street Drumbo, the modular groove box. In this video, I'd like to go through how the feedback send and receive racks work. In the recent release um, of Drumbo, two new uh, racks have been added. One is called uh, Feedback Receive and one is called Feedback Send and they work together. You can find them if you click on the plus sign under the miscellaneous utility. Here they are, feedback receive and feedback send. So let's see how we can use those to uh, create advanced modulation. So first of all, let's go under the um, processor and let's scroll down and let's add an ADSR on the amplitude envelope. So let's click and move to add another rack and let's add, uh, for example, a standard oscillator. So now let's bring up the keys and let's play to hear the synth which we just created. Okay, perfect. Now let's, for example, assume that after the oscillator output, we want to take that output and use that output to modulate the pitch of the oscillator. So here's where the two new addition becomes uh, very handy. So let's add the feedback send. Here it is. Okay. And just before the oscillator, let's add a feedback receive. So let's see how this works. First of all, on the feedback send, you have a dial in delay, which will uh, uh, establish the delay of um, the signal going back to the receive rack, which is here. At the moment it is in millisecond because the selection of under sync is on time, but you can change that, for example, a quarter of the bit. And in that case, you can establish how many quarter of a bit you want as a delay. And you have other selection as well, a third of a bit or a fourth of a bit dot as well. So now for the purposes of this video, let's um, leave it to time so we can select it to in milliseconds and leave it to, let's leave it to a standard of 10 milliseconds. Now you have a connection here, it's called the feedback receive, and this is what you use to send back the signal to the feedback receive rack like so. So very much it goes from the right to the left, which is normally the opposite of what Drumbo uses because it, were, it goes from left to right in terms of connecting modules. So once we have done this, we have the output of the oscillator which will go through the feedback send and it will go then back to the feedback receive. Now let's double click on the tune dial. Sorry, we click on the tune dial and we create a link with the feedback receive rack like so. And now let's increase the um, the uh, modulation from the feedback receive on the tune or pitch and let's try and let's increase a little bit more let's again increase a touch more And as you can hear, you have very interesting sounds uh, and texture coming along. So let's make another example. Let's change, for example, to pulse. And let's also uh, modulate the pulse wave uh, with the signal we, uh, from the feedback receive. So effectively, we have uh, uh, the output of the oscillator self-modulating the tune and also the pulse wave of the oscillator. And, and as you, you appreciate, you can change in the different settings in the dial, you can create unique uh, sounds and textures. Let's add, for example, uh, to make it more interesting on the processor, a filter. Let's increase the resonance.
let's change the type of filter to low pass uh, 24 and let's add uh, again for example and the process so a reverb to make it a little bit more interesting let's increase the cutoff Again, you can make it even more interesting depending on how you set it up. So let's, for example, move the filter right to the front of the oscillator. Let's uh, double click on the um, link to the tune and remove that link, the same on the pulse width. And now let's uh, um, make the cutoff be modulated by the feedback received and the same on the resonance. And then let's take the uh, output of the filter to modulate the pitch and also the pulse width of the oscillator so let's increase a little bit uh, each of the dials and do the same for the feedback receive signal into the filter and again a very different sound and uh, as you can see you can uh, act again uh, on the feedback receive make it more interesting increase for example the modulation of the pulse width let's change the voices to for example um, eight Increase a little bit more the impact on the cutoff. And of course, you can introduce a delay also. And so on and so forth. So the options are unlimited. Um, so I hope you enjoyed and now you know how to work with the feedbacks and the receive racks. See you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.